Hello. In the previous video, we were discussing electromagnetic radiation and we discussed the electromagnetic spectrum. Let us solve two numerical problems based on the electromagnetic spectrum and the two formulae that is C is equal to nu lambda and that wave number nu bar is equal to 1 over lambda. That is the wavelength. The first question is the wavelength range of visible spectrum is 400 nanometers to 750 nanometers. 400 nanometers is the violet light and 750 nanometers is the red light. So these are the wavelengths of the visible range from 400 to 750 nanometers of uh, wavelength. You have to express these in frequencies which means what would be the corresponding frequency range of visible light. So let's take them one by one. The formula here that we would be using is we know that speed of light is equal to nu lambda where nu is the frequency and lambda is the wavelength. So C is constant that is 3 into 10 to the power 8 meters per second that is the speed of light and the, free, the wavelengths are given to us. So nu now would be equal to C by lambda. So in the first case what is the frequency? It would be C is 3 into 10 to the power 8 meters per second divided by the lambda given is 400 nanometers. One nanometer is equal to 10 to the power minus 9 meters. So whenever we solve these numericals we have to convert the units to SI units that is uh, in meters or um, in the case of nanometers we have to convert it to meters. So 400 nanometers would become how many meters? 400 into 10 to the power minus 9 meters. So the meter and meter would get cancelled and what would you get as the answer? When you calculate this, this would be 7.5 into 10 to the power 14 hertz. Why hertz? Hertz means hertz and second inverse is cycles per second is also written as hertz. So since you have second inverse, it means it is cycles per second. So 7.5 into 10 to the power 14 hertz is your answer. Or second inverse is the same thing. So that is the first part of the question. The second frequency would be nu1, let us call it, and nu2. Let these be lambda1 and lambda2. So this would be 3 into 10 to the power 8 meters per second divided by the second a wavelength given to us is 750 nanometers. Again, convert the nanometers to meters. So it will be 750 into 10 to the power minus 9 meters. And the meters get cancelled. Solve this. You get the answer. 4 into 10 to the power 4.00. Let's be more specific. 4.00. Into 10 to the power 14 hertz or second inverse. Therefore, the visible range of frequencies frequencies would be 7.5 into 10 to the power 14 hertz to 4 into 10 to the power 14 hertz is the visible range of light. This is 400 nanometers is violet light. Therefore, the frequency for violet light would be 7.5 into 10 to the power 14 hertz and the frequency for red light would be 4 into 10 to the power 14 hertz. So that was problem 1. Let us now come to the next problem. You have to calculate the wave number. What is wave number? Let me just uh, explain it once more. Wave number is the number of waves that are present in a unit length. That is, let us say that uh, there is a wave. In a one meter, the wave travels four times. That is, it has one, two, three, four. So, this should touch at the end here. So, there are four lengths. How many wavelengths are there? One wavelength, two wavelength, three wavelength, four wavelength. In one meter, there were four wavelengths. So, 
the, if the wavelength is one fourth of a meter, the wavelength is one fourth of a meter. So wave number is one upon wavelength, which is equal to one upon one by fourth of a meter, which would be equal to how much would it be? It will be four. So the wave number in this case is four, which means for unit length, the unit of length that we took was a meter. The wave traveled four times in one meter. So the number of waves that are present in a unit length is, uh, is known as the wave number. So it is the reciprocal of, it is the reciprocal of wavelength and therefore its unit would also be that of wavelength. So it would be, uh, it would be this, the unit would be the inverse of wavelength. So it would be meter inverse. So that is how you, uh, what wave number is. So let us now solve the problem. You have to calculate the wave number and the frequency of yellow radiation having wavelength 5800 Armstrong. Now just as nanometer, one nanometer is equal to 10 to the power minus nine meters. Similarly, an Armstrong is 10 to the power minus 10 of a meter. One Armstrong is equal to 10 to the power minus 10 meters. Therefore, whatever is given in Armstrongs to convert it into meters, you'll have to multiply it by 10 to the power minus 10. So you have to calculate the wave number. We know wave number is one upon lambda and lambda is given to us. So it would be one upon 5,800 into 10 to the power minus 10 meters. We would like to take, in our calculations, we would like to take the SI units. So convert whatever units are available to the SI units, the meters and seconds. So when you calculate this, this comes out to be equal to 1.724 into 10 to the power 6. And what would be the unit now? It would be meter inverse because the unit of wave number would be the inverse of the unit of wavelength because it is the, uh, the wavelength comes in the denominator and hence the unit also comes in the denominator. Now we've calculated the wave number of yellow radiation. You have to also calculate the frequency. We know C is equal to nu lambda and therefore nu should be equal to C by lambda. The speed of light is three into 10 to the power eight meters per second and the wavelength given to us is 5800 into 10 to the power minus 10 meters because the Armstrongs will be converted to meters cancel out the meters and you will get the frequency in per second or hertz what would it be the frequency would be 5.172 into 10 to the power 14 second inverse or you could call it hertz so do you see just these simple formulae that we use to solve the numerical problems for the for calculating either the frequency or the wavelength or the wave number of the radiation now we we'll do we are doing only the wave nature of uh, of electromagnetic radiation We'll do the particle nature too and then solve more numerical problems on this topic. There's a question five in the NCRT exercise, which is actually the same question. It talks of yellow radiation only in the question they've given you the wavelength of yellow radiation as 5,800 instead of this, it is given in nanometers. Uh, 580 nanometers is the uh, wavelength given to you. So what would you do to convert 5800 nanometers to meters? You'll convert it into, you'll multiply it by 10 to the power minus 9 and you will arrive at the same result because you'll convert it to meters and then solve your problem. Practice as many questions as you can. It really helps. Thank you for watching.